This is 2 Peter 2 and 17. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear Yahweh, honor the king. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to Yuakim, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. All right. Now, I just want to go into this lesson. All right. Uh, honoring um, <clears throat> your rulers. <clears throat> As the scripture says, obey them that have the rule over you. All right. So that's so for us, you know, down here on the ground, on, a, uh, on the ground level, that would be uh, the elder apostles of Great Millstone the uh elder bishops underneath them and the rest of the elders and brethren underneath them all right basically the men of the lord as a whole having a reverence matter of fact let me get that all right because um we are supposed to fear um <clears throat> yahweh bahasham yahweh shai all right. <clears throat> we're supposed to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, but we're also supposed to have a fear and a reverence uh, for the men of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh, uh, the men of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai are basically. Um, um, they're, they're basically the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. All right. And if we, and if we fail to listen to the counsel of the men of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, then we are guilty of rebellion. And as the scripture says, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And the scriptures also say that Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, uh, suffereth not a witch to live. All right, so we got to understand that um, not reversing his priests and not listening to their counsel is likened unto rebellion. Rebellion means to go back to war. All right, you basically waging war with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. If you fail, if we fail to um, adhere, <clears throat> okay. That's why the scripture says, "If this day, if you this day, would you uh, if you will hear right." Harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation. Okay. So we don't want to provoke Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, I'm going to come back to this scripture. All right. This is Proverbs 20. Let me, let me read up a little bit. Um, right. This is Proverbs 20 and 2. The fear of a king is as the roaring of a lion, whoso provoketh him to anger, sinning ag sinneth against his own soul. All right. <clears throat> okay. And how do we honor the king, which ultimately is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, is by reverencing his priests, and they are and and understanding that they are the mouthpiece and messengers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's some, you know, that's that's you know something that we have to keep in mind. It says, Whoso provoketh him to anger sinneth against his own soul. Right. So basically, <clears throat> basically, Yahweh, <clears throat> excuse me. Basically, the way you pr provoke Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is basically disregarding his his uh servants his men you you basically provoke the king you know it reminds me of the scene in the movie braveheart where um you know you had uh the character william wallace his uh his wife was basically killed uh by one of the british nobles and before he slit her throat he said any um any uh assault against the king's men is an assault against the king himself right now that dude was being wicked if you watch that movie but the the uh the saying rings true 
if Yahweh Bashim Shai sends a messenger and you do anything against that messenger, you are now you have now declared war against Yahweh Bashim Shai. So whoso like I'm reading again the, the last part again it says whoso provokes him to anger, send it against his own soul, and that's the way you can um uh, one of the many ways you can provoke Yahweh Bashim Shai to anger. You know, but uh, I do want to go back to the scripture I had before, which was uh, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> hold on. Right, this is Sirach seven and twenty nine. Fear Yahweh with all thy soul and reverence His priests. Okay, and because what did the Lord say? Um, uh, sent. Excuse me. <clears throat> Bear with me. <clears throat> right, this is <clears throat> Jeremiah 35 and 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them, and ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers, but ye have not inclined your ear, no hearkened unto me. And what is that and what does that show? You know, that Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah, um he now um you have now waged war with Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah. Okay. All right, because the men of Yahweh, because fearing Yahweh Bashim Shah is to fear his men. You know, we have to fear the men that carry this, uh, the word of Yahweh Bashim, the message of Yahweh Bashim Shah. All right. You know, there's a certain reverence we're supposed to have, you know, um, for the men of the Lord. Hey, because uh, I'm thinking about, let me see. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> right. This is uh first Samuel sixteen and one, and Yahweh said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn for Saul? Seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel, fill thine horn with oil and go. I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have for he for I have provided me a king among his sons. Right. And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. Right. So. He wasn't mourning because Saul had passed because he hadn't passed yet. He was mourning because he had got deposed from, from his throne. Why? For disobedience. Okay. That's why he told him to obey is better than sacrifice, you know, because while we're doing this work, we are sacrificing. But if we are sacrificing and doing this work, but we're not taking heed to counsel, then the Lord has ought with us. And Yahweh said, "Take an heifer with thee, and I say, I am come to sacrifice, and say, I am come to sacrifice to Yahweh, and call Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show thee what thou shalt do, and thou shalt anoint unto me him whom I name unto thee." And Samuel did that which Yahweh spake, and came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming, and said. Comest thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto Yahweh. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. All right. So this is just to show you the uh the tenure, the the tenor, right? The the demeanor 
of this situation and the people involved. The great fear they had for a man who bared the word of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You know. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> the reverence, you know, because, you know, the prophets, they either come in with a good message or a bad message. And we know through through these scriptures, the majority of the time, it was a bad message, especially if the people were in transgression. All right, which every, you know, pretty much every time, you know. But yeah, you know, <clears throat> every time, you know, people were in, uh, the, our people were in transgression, there was a recompense. And uh, it usually, you know, came at the mouth of a prophet. <laughs> You know, it usually came at the mouth of a pro of a prophet, man. You know, <clears throat> so yeah, man. It is something we just got to remind ourselves and um, remember. You know, you know. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna leave it there. Just you know, a little something that I wanted to do. You know, really, even for myself. You know. You know, we do these lessons, you know, it's just like, <laughs> we're kind of like that, um, you know, that uh, uh, school teacher, you know, that doesn't bring, he doesn't bring his own lunch, you know, he, he, he eats in the same cafeteria with the students, you know, the same thing we're eating, you know, we're eating, you know, we're eating the same meal, <laughs> you know, that one teacher, man. You know, <laughs> he he dresses uh kind of bummy, you know. You know, got the uh the suit with the damn uh elbow pads. <laughs> All right, <laughs> dusty little you know, teacher. You know, and, and you know for lunch, he, he guess where he's going? He's not ordering out. He's he's in the cafeteria with the rest of the students eating the same same thing as them, man. And, that's how we are, man. We don't we, we we're not glamorous over here. We don't dress up our videos, you know, you know. We just we just we just serve it as it is. You feel me? You know. And uh, well, you know, that's pretty much all I got. So I hope this lesson was edifying. With that, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone salutation to you, Akim. Pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. Shalom and Kwam Yasharala.